Hi, today I would like to show you how to make some nice looking high performance water in Unity 5. So here I am trying to make a fountain and well the default water works quite well. It has the round mesh so it, it just fits perfectly. But I have a few problems. The performance first is very bad on the default Unity 5 water. And second we have some reflection glitches. Um, so if I look up the buildings are rendered but when I look down and the buildings are not rendered they disappear from the reflection so that looks terrible and that is similar to screen space reflections but it doesn't even fade it just disappears and it, it looks it just generally looks pretty bad um, so I'm gonna show you how to fix this reflection problem and also how to make some pretty high performance unit 500 much better performance than what we have here in default by default so here I would like to showcase the default water performance so if we I added a script that will disable it on certain distance so if we go a little bit far away it will be disabled so pay attention it's disabled and we had 500k tris and about 430 batches if we go closer we have almost 1500 batches and 2.1 million tris so it basically almost quadrupled it's just uh, it's three to four times more batches and three to four times more triangles and that's just for a single water plane if i wanted to make like more than one fountain it would be just terrible i added this distance script that will disable it over a certain distance to make it a little bit better but still i mean we're getting just terrible performance from this i mean it, it just it it's not acceptable for just one single water plane so how do we fix this well i'll show you right now what are the results so these are the results of the water. This is the optimized water. It doesn't look as good and that is because it's missing refractions. But on the bright side, we don't get those glitchy reflections. The reflection appears no matter what. And that's because of it, it uses the default Unity reflection probes and it performs very good. If we go until it's disabled, we can see we have about 950k tris and 900 batches. And if it's enabled, we get less. So we even get less. So that's that's probably because of other objects are not being rendered. But basically, there's like almost no change in batches or triangles when we when it's enabled or disabled. So that's very good. Okay. So here I have the water that I just made that is optimized, and I'll show you how this sort of works. Basically, we're just using the standard shader. And to this, we're adding a normal map, both in the main map and a secondary map. This normal map is the default normal map that comes in the default Unity 5 water. We're just reusing this normal map. And we're applying it both to the main and secondary map, normal map slots. And then what we do is we're going to add a full smoothness value so it has the reflection probe uh, reflections. And we're also going to have to... I don't know, uh, three quarters of the slider for metallic. If we make it like full metallic, it looks very murky. And if we don't, it, it, it almost doesn't reflect. So we're going to have to have it around three quarters. Looks quite good. And then the color, we could make it um, change the alpha to see how transparent the water is. And also change the color itself. Uh, that you can change to your liking. So that's all you can, can configure. And as for the water movement, we use a simple script that accesses the offset and continually moves the offset um, both on the main map and secondary map and we have these two vector twos the main current off uh, speed of the offset and the alternate current speed of the offset which is uh, the secondary map offset speed so if we want to change the speed we just change this variable uh, the default one works quite well and basically the alt alt uh, vector two offset speed is negative to the current speed that works quite well um, but you can change it if you want and the script is very simple we just have two vector tools which are the ones in the inspector and these have the speed and direction of the first water uh, main map normal map and this one has a alternate current speed which is the secondary map normal map speed of the offset and then we had four floats would have uh, all the offsets of different like the x and y of the main map and the x and y of the 
alternate map and these just save the offset because we're gonna have to be adding continually to the offset for it to move continually and we're just gonna have to save that in four floats that's why we have the uh, these four floats in update which are adding by time dot delta time then we multiply the speed uh, x and y components of the vector twos and that will get us uh, the effect we want and then um, we have the reference to the renderer so we can access the material and start we just assign the renderer that's all we do there and then these uh, last two lines we make a new vector two with the, both the offsets for the main one so we just make render that material that main texture offset which just uh, lets us access to the main texture offset and we make a new vector two with the both float components which uh, makes our our since they're being continually added by time dot delta time this will make it look like it's continually moving and the second one we have to make a little bit trickier to be a, to access to the offset of the secondary map so we have to use render on material that set texture offset which is a function which takes a string a name of the shader uh, variable which in this case detail albedo map uh, equals the secondary map uh, slot of the shader so we're gonna have to access that that way and then the second parameter is the vector 2 of the speed we need of the of the uh, offset so basically that's that's how it works I'll be adding a link in the description with a prefab of this water with the script and the normal map and all that so you don't have to really just do all this you just drag the prefab and put it and just adjust whatever you want so anyways that's how I solve this problem is actually quite simple you do not have to buy any water in the assets or anything it just it works quite well actually i'm surprised how the standard shader manages to do that but it works so yeah oh uh, thanks for watching i hope this helps and um see you in the next one